Are you used to just mounting your iPod, opening up iTunes, and transferring music from your computer to your iPod? Most of us are used to that. But what happens if you want to transfer a track from your, your iPod to your friend's computer, or from your iPod to your computer, or you've gone over to your friend's house, you've transferred music from their computer to your iPod, and you want to bring it home with you? Most of you probably use the disc mode in your iPod, but did you know there's a way you can actually use the music that's on iTunes in your iPod? Yes, you can get it out of your iPod. Say that you've lost your iTunes library. What are you supposed to do? If you haven't backed up your music, most of it's probably going to be on your iPod. How do you get it out of your iPod? Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm going to show you how to get your music out of your iPod and unlock its full poten potential. So, in my video description, there's going to be a link to this website for Sanuti. Sanuti is an application that unlocks your iPod and lets you get your songs. So, I'm going to download this here now. And, as you can see, Sanuti is for 10.4 and up. If, you need, if you're need, if you running 10.3.9 uh, Panther, then you're going to need to download Sanuti 0.33. If you're if you're downloading uh, version 0.50.1, this is for 10.4, so that's Tiger, and it's also for 10.5, which is Leopard. Okay, so Sanuti will download, and once it's finished, it's gonna say BZ2 at the end. When it's downloaded, and it says that you have to change that to just DNG. I'll show you in a couple seconds. Okay, now, you see on the file here, press return, and take away 2, Z, B, and the period. Now click outside of it and say, use DMG. Now double click on the DMG, the DMG will mount on your computer. And open up. So here it says, drag Sanuti into your applications. For the purpose of this presentation, I am just going to open it right out of the DMG. So here's Sanuti. Here is your iPods library down here with all your playlists. And here's your iTunes library down here with all your playlists. In your iPod, this is my iPod area here, all the tracks with blue on the left means that they are already in your iTunes. The ones without blue on the left mean that they're only on your iPod. You would most likely get this if you don't sync automatically sync your iPod, if you manage your tracks separately. If you don't every time you plug in your iPod if it doesn't automatically sync and uh, that that means that you'd probably get this. If you automatically sync they'd probably be all blue. So in the preferences you can set set your default location to save in your iTunes music folder, your home folder, or choose whatever you want. Here you can just there's mostly just little things in here. It's not that big a deal. Anyways, I'm gonna take uh just to just to show you how this works, I'm gonna take a uh, song. Let's take uh one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna transfer it. As you can see, let's transfer it onto my desktop in the folders from the artist to the album, and there's the song right here. As you can see, I can click here, and I can take a preview of the song. And that's the song right there. It's come right off of my iPod. So I'm going to get rid of that, and uh, I'll show you, if you want, I'll just show you another, maybe a podcast. So if you have a podcast on here, you can transfer that. And here it is, Quarks and Quarks CBC Radio. And there's your podcast right there. So, I hoped I helped you in finding a way to get out uh, music from your iPod onto your computer, so you can put on music to your friend's computer, or you can get all your songs back onto your iTunes library if you lost all of them. 
and I hope I help you in that area. This has been a how-to tip on how to get iPod songs off of your iPod. Thank you.